Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the channel time delayer in Reaper. Now, the channel time delayer plugin or effects is really helpful when you want to create a stereo effect from a mono track. For instance, I have a track in front of me right here with an acoustic guitar, but there's just one of them. So, in the context of the song, I kind of wish there were two of them one on the left and one on the right. Sounds like this. That's going to get in the way of the lead vocal, which is going to be in the middle. So what I usually do is I create a new track underneath it, pan this one to the left, this one to the right, set the volumes about the same, send this track to this one right here, and set it up to be pre-fader, post-effects, and then go to this track and add a delay to it right here. Redelay. Then I would turn off the dry sound and set the delay to about 25 milliseconds. Then if we play this back, it sounds like two guitars, one on the left and one on the right. Adding a bit of delay creates that effect. But it's kind of messy having this on a separate track. If I want to adjust the acoustic guitars, I have to select them both first and then adjust them that way. But the channel time delayer avoids all that. Let's delete this track, put this track back in the center. Let's go to our effects. There's already an EQ on this track, let's add the channel time delayer. Let's type in time delay, and it shows up right here, channel time delayer. And if we open it up, it's an incredibly simple plugin. It just divides both channels, the left and right, and we can change the time of both of them. In this situation, we just want to delay the right side to be 25 to 30 milliseconds, and it sounds like this. It's a nice stereo effect that makes room for the lead vocal. If we want to adjust the level of our guitars, we can just do it all with this one fader. And anything else on this track, like EQ or compression, will automatically be added to both of these channels. So it's a great time saver and a lot quicker to adjust the track. Let's try the same thing with the electric guitar that comes in here. Right now there's only one of them, and it's in the middle. Let's try putting the effect on this track. Let's just drag it to here. Let's change it to be about 35, make it a bit longer. But again, by putting the sound in the left and right speakers, it's out of the way of the lead vocal. Let's add one more to a mandolin that comes in right here. I don't want that in the middle. So let's duplicate the effect right here to the mandolin. Let's do this a bit differently. We'll put the right side back to zero and we'll delay the left side. Let's do it about 40 milliseconds. And what that does is it draws our ear to the right side because that channel is coming out first. 
Check it out. All together. Again, it makes space for the lead vocal, which is going to be in the middle, by putting everything else on the left or right side. Now, I would caution using this too much, as it's not going to work so well in mono, but for certain things, if you really wish they were doubled, like electric guitars or acoustic guitars, or even a synth, this is a great way of creating that stereo effect. So, anyway, that's the channel time delayer in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.